What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're we'll checking out a title called Under Space. As I understand it, this game is slated as a space action RPG. So you're going to fly a fighter around, kind of like Freelancer, if you ever played that game before. But this has the additive kind of, well, I was going to say the additive addition, but that'd be a little bit redundant, huh? It has the additive element. There we go. That's the word that I'm searching for. It has the additive element of having space monsters or something, at least if the thumbnails are to be believed. So we're going to dive on in today for about 25 minutes, play the game, see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or otherwise pass on. If after watching this, you wanted to get the game for yourself, I got a link for you down below in the description. So let's go ahead and get running. You'll also find a link to my Discord and my Twitch stream down there, just in case you wanted to play uh, the game with me live or hang out or whatever else. I'm so lonely. Please don't leave me. Let's go to a loading screen. That's probably not good. I don't think that's gonna buff out. I just, I sort of get the feeling that maybe some mechanic somewhere just paid for his kid's college if we try to fix that. I like the music, the soundtrack's actually pretty good. It's definitely got that space epic vibe to it. All right, so from what I could tell, I made some edits right there because there was some opening dialogue and whatnot, but unfortunately it scrolled way too fast for me to read it, so I opted just to kind of edit it out. As far as I could tell, the storyline is this. Although it was scrolling so fast that I couldn't read it quick enough, uh, we were the head of a high house. Those ships that got blown up in that opening cutscene, they belonged to me and my brother, and apparently we took out a big insurance policy right before those ships got blowed up. And so the government prosecuted us for fraud, we lost our high house title, and now we're left with just one tiny fighter ship, and we need to go out and find our way in the galaxy, effectively. Uh, we can click around, so we've got a launch bay, we've got the bar, we've got an equipment dealer, we've got a cargo trader, a ship dealer, and a chapter house, although that has a red exclamation point next to it, which makes me think maybe I should probably not go there. I guess you're about to launch into space without having done any initial campaign missions. You can start the campaign by using the go to icon of a store. Oh, okay, gotcha. Cool. I thought the red I thought the red icon was a bad thing. But you've got to give me something. A low risk cruiser, some military adjuncts, anything. We're getting thrashed out here. What about the way things are going here? I've lost two star chasers in the past week. <laughs> Starry-eyed rookies with no inclination towards drudge work. <laughs> All right, a chance. But make sure Dengariot's honest about what's going on. It seems to me that this game is very much in active development right now. I think everything's supposed to be voiced, which is why the text boxes are moving so quickly. Uh, anyways, talk to the chapter master. Let's do it. Chapter master, are you like a, a sentient floating cube? 
Dude, I wish I was a sentient floating cube. My life would be way better if I was a sentient floating cube. That's all I've ever wanted to be was a floating geometric shape that could boss people around. Already? That was fast. UHC 46. Look, Ricky, I know what they've told you at the Academy, but you've got to understand one thing. This chapter isn't the kind that's out in the frontier chasing storm whites and selling their stories to movie studios. We fight and break up washers and their offshoot cults. It's not glamorous. Got it? Does it pay? It pays, yeah. It pays better than most, in fact, that I'm in. You sure? Because I know you Academy types like to... I'm not from the Academy. I'm a star chaser. You're a star chaser? All right, job's pretty simple then. We're escorting a convoy from Agonite to Spolin Train Yard. Pay out 65 grand. You interested? I'm in. Go to Spaceside, meet up with the squad leader, a Mark Ravari called Unilesi. He'll fill you in on the details. There's a window of opportunity here, so hurry. All right. First day on the job, apparently. Uh, so we can get weather reports, apparently, in space. Interesting. So the storms are probably like precursors to whatever the monsters are or whatever. They're doing some solid world building right here with like references to like red faces. Like what are those? Like I, the aliens already look really, really unique. They're not like bipedal, which I absolutely love. Like I hate it when it's like Star Trek or it's like Star Wars, like Star Wars to a lesser extent. But I hate it when it's like Star Trek where like weirdly all of the aliens are like bipedal like hominids that just have like a weird head that annoys me so much in sci-fi so i like that the aliens are like a disembodied floating cube and like a giant slug monster and, and like stuff like that I, I i like that a lot uh we'll go to the launch bay i guess is that my ship right there i think that's my ship right there all right so here we are we're in control of our ship right now I don't know. We got to fly to a waypoint. All right. Where's my waypoint at? It's purpley warpley and it's on my... Okay, it's over here. Let's go take a look. Ooh, I like the kind of Danny Elfman, sort of like uh, Tim Burton, almost Fable-esque music. All right. So fly to the waypoint. Let's fly to the waypoint. We are in free flight mode, and it looks like we're traveling reasonably fast, probably about 150 uh, kilometers. I'm sorry, 1.5 kilom... Well... 0.15 kilometers per second is kind of what it feels like to me. I don't know. Ooh. I can shoot guns. Nice. Okay. I can also do a barrel roll. That's a good trick. But, 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 slippy. All right. Well, when I get to this waypoint, I'll let you... Oh, never mind. Red 4, this is Red 2, ready to escort. Roger that, Red 2. You think they'll come? Our teams have been hitting them as hard as possible, cutting off supplies where we can. With everything we've done, an opportunity like this is too good. Roger that, forming up. Let's hope that this works. How come everybody's wearing a gas mask, dude? Is it, like, extra stinky in space? Your ship's current target when selected has autopilot available. All right, so I've got to go through this warp gate over here. And so I assume I click on it. And then it said to do, like, F1 or F2. Go to. Gotcha. All right. High engines charging. There we go. Oh, God. Okay. Apparently, we got big old boosty boys on here. You love to see it. Okay. We're docking with the lane line. There we go. Oh! Okay. Yeah, we got a little bit of speed up under our belt right here. Okay. I like this method of space travel. We've got a contact. That's what I'm saying. They're desperate. Oh, boy, am I dog fighting a guy now? Where the bad guys at? Let me see them. Where are these guys at? So right mouse button fires all your active weaponry. AD strafes the ship. We can also dodge. Okay, we can roll, and then we can activate our thrusters. Sounds good. We've got a number of options then. Let's let's find these guys. Oh, there he is right there. Okay, we got to stay on him. Oh, God. Okay, I got to lower my mouse sensitivity. Oh, we, oh, go down. Get wrecked. Okay, taste my lasers. My mighty and powerful space lasers. They are all for you. Taste of my lasers. Ow, I've been shot. Oh, wow, I can do like a little warp move too. Okay, that's kind of cool and active. I dig it. There is definitely no auto aim here at all. Like the bullets don't pull towards the enemy or anything else like that. So you are actively dogfighting in the old school way in this. What is that thing? Let's kill it. I don't know what it is, but it needs to die. Okay, yeah. I didn't expect my guns to be that strong, but hey, 
we lit it up. Did I loot anything off of any of this? Like, so you often take damage from battle from sources like radiation and storm. You can use your hull webbing to repair your integrity, and G uses shield caches to restore the shield energy. You can get caches and webbing on any base or planet. Destroyed ships and targets often drop salvage and loot. If you're nearby, loot an icon on the crate will appear, and you go B. Wow, there's a lot of hotkeys to memorize, dude. There's a there's a there's a lot of things right now that I'm being expected to memorize. Oh, nice, dude. We got a bunch of hull webbings and stuff. Oh, and it looks like we've got a little level up meter too, up in the top right hand corner. Like while we were dogfighting, I didn't even notice. I don't know if I can. Out. Okay. I just wanted to see if I, maybe I could break up the the chunkies of spaceship. Maybe they would drop some loot. So we've got a waypoint over here. We'll go ahead and hit it. And then we will go to Spolin Train Yard, which is where the game expects me to go. Actually kind of impressed with this right now. Like, they're really leaning into kind of that old school Roberts uh, space epic vibe from the Freelancer days. It honestly reminds me more of Freelancer than just about anything I've played recently. I'll be damned if Freelancer is not a big inspiration for this game because the graphical style is like dead on the money. Something feels off. Red Squadron, this is Blue. We heard you ran into trouble. Less trouble than we thought. Where are your escorts? He stayed behind. Had a gunboat come in that they wanted to take care of. Was there any sign of him? None that we could see. Rishan's right. Something's off. Yun. What about Green Squad? They should have been the first to get here. Haven't heard anything. Yun. Rick and Ren's shipyard isn't responding. Green Squad. Oh, damn it, Cardoz. We're farming up on you. Let's get to Rick and Ren, but stay alert. All right, so dock with the Rick and Ren lane line. It's a good thing they're marking everything with a giant purpley warpley. Otherwise, I'd be boned right here. Now, let's go ahead and take it on over to the docking with our F3. Dude, I like that. I like that zip drive or whatever that they gave us. Dude, that slip drive. It's got that whoosh. You know, it's got like that noise to it when you lock it off. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is UHC Green. We need reinforcements. Green 1, Red 2, where's the convoy? It's gone. The Doomsdayers blew it up in the dry dock. I don't think they were after it. We've got more coming. Get to Rick and Rend. Okay, well, hey, I'm on the freeway right now. I just jumped onto the Space 80, and I'm headed west, baby. We don't stop till we see the Pacific Ocean of guns. I think we found the rest. Break formation. Keep them away from civilians. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of you guys out here. All right, let's go. Ooh, I got fart gas engine. Oh, God. Return fire. Okay, okay, okay. Where are they at? Where are they at? There he is. There he is. Track him, track. Ooh, he's zi th this man. He's evasive. He's got skills. He's got moves. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's giving me the slip right now. Hey, go to sleep. We were taking a little bit of shield damage right there. Oh, the yellow is my ammo or like my energy on my guns. Gotcha. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, let's pull in what we can. Apparently, I got some love. Killed a guy and got some love. Sounds like a good day in space to me. All right, let's shoot this guy down. I don't even know if I have the range to hit that nerd. I would recommend some kind of hit marker, maybe, so that I can see if I'm making contact. I'm having a hard time telling what's connecting and what isn't. Oh, I got you now, boy. Yup. Oh, he, like, boosted away from me. Oh, my God. He just rammed me, dude. What a psycho. I have more respect for my enemy now. There we go. We got some hits right there. I do hear like a little thump, 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 thump when we're up close giving me a hit marker. I don't even know who I'm focusing on right now. Oh, there we go. We can put up like a health bar. I like it. I like it. Almost got them shields down. I'm trying to stay on him something nasty, but he's not making it easy. This might be the boss or something. He's got, like, a name. Oh, big tags. There it is. Give me that loot. Whole webbing time. All right, what am I looking at here? Sir? Oh, no, every single fighter has a name. I thought the other guy was maybe a boss or something. 
I think these guys are just like strapped. Where'd he go? Is he just like jump jetting away? Oh, there's dialogue happening. Give me the last known coordinates. Rish and form up. Cardoz, you're on point. Yeah, I think they pieced out. Okay, well, we put up a good fight then. I'll take that. So, like, how was it that I used my... So, we got loot over here. Obviously, I'm not going to leave that behind. Like, we got to go get that. That's that's the good stuff right there. Yeah, I want that. Give me that good stuff. I'm broke right now, according to the storyline. I've lost, like, everything. Uh, we got a wreck scanner. Can I not carry anything else? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is that? Hull webbing. Oh, maybe I'm full up. I don't know. Stopping the ship is challenging. There we go. Let's kind of break. Yeah, I must be full up or something. I don't really know. Uh, I can turn my mouse following off. And then, I don't know how I get my mouse, but there we go. I can go up to here. And it looks like we've got a sunbeam gun. I'm actively adjusting the DPI on my mouse right now because the sensitivity is really, really high uh, when I'm in the dog fights. But, like, when I'm in the menus, I come back in and I've got my mouse. I've got one of those Corsair mice that you can, like, adjust the DPI on the fly. And so I've been doing that. It looks like we've got some more weapons down here. The Love Zero. The washers use these photonic repeaters as their primary means of piracy to protect their drug stock while smuggling. Photonic weapons do more damage to neutrino shields, but less to Quasar. They have a very high fire rate, but low damage. Rick and Ren down, no sign of a Bezio. This is bad. Oh, did I do something wrong? Hold on. A lot of sex with the washers. They call them doomsdayers. They're crazy even by crazy standards. Okay, well, maybe we autopilot on over to there. I don't know. Yeah, that got us moving. The worst part is we didn't catch them. Suicidal as they may be, they don't stick around. Apparently, they are robbing Starship cores. It's really, really hard to keep up with the dialogue while also paying attention to the game. But either way, it looks like we are headed back out right now. I don't know if I'm supposed to be flying to this place manually, but it looks kind of stormy and cloudy over there, dude. And from what they've implied so far from various dialogues, being out in a storm is bad. Oh, look, our little guns are on gimbals. I didn't even notice. Like, I just figured it was redirecting the lasers, but no, all of your little Gatling guns, they face bravado, no sign of them. Understood, everybody get ready. Are we about to throw down? We're about to do this thing, huh? We're about to space brawl. I'm ready. I'm ready to make my name out here in space. I am the Lancer that is free. Let's do this thing. What the hell is that? It's a collapsed jump hole. Don't get close. Focus on the fighters. All right, let's break out. Let's break out. I don't want to go towards the jump hole. What's up with these guys over here? Oh, oh, that's so much laser. I hated every moment of it. Please never do that again. You. I pick you. Yep, you're my guy. I want to love you with my lasers. That's actually a song that I'm working on right now. I want to love you with my lasers. I got another gun. I don't know if it's better than the gun that I have. I'm going to... This guy seems like he's got my buddy lined up. So I'm going to jump. Oh, there we go. Shield cash, baby. All right, what else we got going on? Got this guy over here. Adjust my DPI one more time. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to change the mouse sensitivity. All right, we got a free thruster. I love things that are free. Free fitty is my favorite price. Okay, another one bites the dust. Two shield caches. Oh, we got like a frigate or something over here. What is that thing? Okay, I'm going to teleport over. Get him with a nice strafe. Oh, wow, he can take some damage. Okay, okay. We'll dodge over to the side. Oh, there's still a fighter left. I should probably shoot him down before he kills one of my boys. You got to look after your space boys. That's one of that's one of the fundamental rules of space guy stuff is you got to watch out for your space boys. Is a jump hole supposed to do that? 
It's gonna implode. Let's get clear. <laughs> All right, let's get clear. We gotta go to purpley Whirplies. Kick on the thruster. It was close. Life pods, nothing but wreckage. He's gone, as are the cores. Damn, Hat's not gonna be happy. Bravado have been part of the chapter for a decade. You sure that Star Chaser Cardos? Rookies might die by the score, but it takes a lot to kill a veteran. Maybe. Gives us a clue as to how these cultists keep getting away from us. They've got something that can collapse jump holes. We need to report back to Hat for this. Cardoz, you're a newbie. You got first rights to loot. If I make the suggestion, though, you'll want to head to Rick and Ren to get yourself outfitted. I can't tell you what's coming, but, well, take care of yourself, Speakerson. Hey, $65,000. More money than I've ever seen in my life. Uh, so I need to go to Rick and Rend, but I don't know how. To, I got to go to Rick and Rick and Rand, but I don't know how to get there. I'm 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 lost in space. I need a friend. Ooh, I've got skill points too, so we get reputation. There's like AI voices talking right now. Uh, we have our reputation with various space entities in our character area. It looks like we can do ammunition arrangements. It looks like we can do easy allegiances. We can do scavenger, which gives us better salvaging and mining chance, which salvaging is one of my favorite things in space games. So I'm glad that that's included. Shield technology was discovered. Let's go ahead and add to our recharge rate. That sounds good to me. I'm willing to dump a lot of points into that. And then what is ammunition? My max ammo goes up. There we go. Yeah, I think that's just the pilots like talking to each other, like in the general area. However, I don't know where I'm going right now or where I'm supposed to be. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So it wanted me to go back to Rick and Rand. So we'll hit the autopilot. There we go. Okay. I'm learning to space navigate. I kind of like that there's a learning curve, though, to like all the hotkeys and everything. Like, you've got to learn how the game plays. Like, they didn't just dummy it down to, like, mouse over, hit space bar for contextual wheel. You know, like, you've actually got to learn how to fly your ship and all the hotkeys and everything. I like that. I prefer that in my space games. Uh. There's something out here in the storm with me. I wasn't planning on flying through a storm. But the game, obviously, there's things in the storm, dude. What is that thing? Oh, I don't want to be in the storm no more. I want to be in the stormless part of space. Some other guy with a gas mask on while I started flying through here was like, You have come to hunt the storm with me, brother! And he had big Viking energy. Apparently there's something out here in the storm that we're supposed to be hunting. But I don't know what it is. Looks like we made it through. So let's go ahead and we'll dock up over here. If I kill that and I go back to manual flight mode. Can you like see the storm from out here? Not really. Huh. Alright, well let's oh yeah, my sensitivity. There we go. Let's go back to Rick and Rand. We'll see if we can uh, dock up with this place. Docking permission granted. Proceed to dock. That's how I like to dock too. You just ram into the side of the paddock. And then somebody panics and they're like, Jesus, he's destroying the whole place. Just let him in. That's my favorite way to dock. I find that it makes a, a nice splash. It's party with all the music. Are you going to fly me through the flamethrower, dude? How do you even have fire in the vacuum of space? There's no air for it to consume. The future is magical, dude. The future has done some incredible things. So I guess I'm in uh, Ricka Brand. All right, Ricka Brand, Brand, Ricka Brand, Brand. Who are you? Austin Dembley, the equipment dealer. All right. What if I just kind of like take a look here? Warp to the equipment dealer. Warp to the cargo trader. Warp to the ship dealer. Okay. How do I change the loadout on my ship? Character, reputation, objective, inventory, maybe. I don't know exactly what they want me to do here. Uh, it looks like they want me to equip these love guns. Oh. 
I didn't realize I had two more slots to play around with. So they want me to buy a thruster. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so we got the large thruster on now. Okay, okay, so we're probably like a little bit faster. Did I get like a new shield or anything? As far as I can tell, these are your slots up here, and then the stuff you can put in them is down below. Yeah, it's what it looks like to me anyways. As far as hardware goes, we don't have cloaking fields or anything else. I actually, I don't know how to sell stuff. That's one thing, is that I, there's no like buy or sell button that I've seen so far. Maybe I can maybe I can only do it at the dealer like you can't just do it straight from right here. I did get a shield cache which is probably cool. Restores 200 points of your Oh, those are consumables. Okay. And then I've got a scanner upgrade. Yeah, throw on the scanner upgrade. Why not? All right. Well, I outfitted my ship with some more thingies. What's up with you, man? Oh, it puts our ship oh, okay. All right. So there's us and there is the ship dealer. Wow, guns get kind of pricey. So they've got the sunbeams. Mine are all class zeros. Like, what if... Just what if I grab, uh, you know, missile launcher would be kind of cool. Oh, we can get chaff, too? So we've actually, like, if we get tracked by a missile, we've actually got to fire chaff. That's old school right there. I like that. It's not like, I wonder if it's automatic. Like, it expends it automatically the moment it detects that you're being tracked by a missile. Or if you've actually got to, like, hit a hotkey real fast to punch it out and just shoo, 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 like fire chaff out behind the ship. That's pretty badass. All right, so let's see here. Thrusters, shields. Shields might not be a bad idea. What kind of shield do I have right now? I have an old constable. It's a shield class four. Okay. What if... I unequip that shield. And then we just buy the... Oh, I'm getting XP right now just for, like, trading and buying things and spending money. I can dig it. All right. Uh, there's our sell option right there. So I'm going to sell those thrusters. I'm going to sell that crappy shield right there because we don't need it anymore. And then, like, uh, what's the what's the play from here? Was that, like, the end of the storyline? Or do we have... Oh, we got a mission tab? I can do a mission. Uh, let's see here. Information courier to Haskar Industrial. Okay, we have sensitive information we need sent to Spol and Train Yard, but we can't risk sending it over public channels. If you accept the data is loaded onto your ship and you physically deliver it to Spolin in Voldrick, you will, of course, be compensated. Okay. Yeah, I think I can do that. Oh, there's also, you can actually walk up to a physical job board instead of using the tooltips. This doesn't feel like it's a bar. I don't see any people around. I hear voices and stuff, but, like, maybe that comes later. All right, well, I mean, we've got a mission, so let's go to Spolengrad or whatever the hell it was called. All right, let's free fly it around a little bit. Hey, Cardoz, checking in. You all right? Could be better. Yeah, but I've heard you've been finding work as a star chaser, so that's not all bad. You need something, Bell? No, but I've got an unopened bottle of a Juni Rye here. Why don't you stop by? I can't give you money, but I got an idea about something that might help you get back on your feet. All right, I'll take a whi I don't really like whiskey in real life. I'm more of like a vodka tequila guy. I also very, very much enjoy a nice glass of brandy, but I've never been like a big whiskey guy. I've just never really liked the flavor of it. Uh, so I need to go to somewhere. I don't know what gates I'm looking at here, so that goes to Cadrix. Can I track my mission, actually? Let's look. So if I go to the mission log... Oh, the blue. The blue is my, is my guideline. Okay, it was purple for the last one. So I'm guessing side missions and main missions have a separately colored bracket that they get put around them. I'm very impressed by this so far, though. It's obvious that there's a lot of missing voice dialogue, like they're using AI voices and whatnot for most of the stuff. But I'm impressed with the soundtrack. I'm impressed with the way that the flight feels. It feels good. The dogfighting reminds me directly of older games like X-Wing versus TIE Fighter and whatnot. And so they're obviously evoking a lot of nostalgia for me right now. This is a really solid demo. I wish that all the demos I got sent were 
as solid as this. I think that there's some stuff they could do with the inventory and like the loadout menus to make it a little bit more immersive. I'm also a big fan of click and drag and like slots, you know, with like a picture of my ship and like you drag things onto slots and whatnot. But honestly, that's just a stylistic thing. It's not even that big of a deal. Uh, but so far, I will be keeping an eye on this one. This game is called Underspace. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, we were blazing through space, lighting cats up with lasers, leveling up our character, listening to Danny Elfman music, and it's time for me to go. I'll catch you all tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out, and that's about all I got. Bye, folks.